to get those wheelchair motors moving now because Matilda's in and she's on the spikes and it's impaled on the spikes. Matilda's saw and that vicious tail. This could be a tale of two saws. Robot the theatre. They'll be fighting obstacle courses. They'll be fighting each other. And most worrying of all, they'll be going head to head with pure, indestructible evil. The house robots. Matilda. Prehistoric Matilda's next up with hydraulic tusks and a truly lethal chainsaw tail running at over 3,000 revs per minute. One. Activate. For the first time in the history of Robot Wars, the gauntlet is run. And out comes Roblox. He does not want to be torched. In goes Matilda. Dead Metal is beaten. It's Big Chris Kinsey, the tall blonde lad. And this is a good run here by Roblox. And that's very fast. There was a moment there, guys, I thought you weren't going to get off the turntable. Did that go through your minds? Well, yeah, we were having a bit of trouble getting it straight off. Our main plan was to go over that bridge, actually. As we were steering onto it, we found a gap and went for it. What were you operating? So you operated the saw. Did you get anyone? Afraid not. We just were too damn quick. <laughs> Very well done. That's a good win. They were quick. They set the standard. First to run, first on the leaderboard. One. Our second set of A-level students. Oh, they've chosen a wrong route right from the start, surely, because Bash is there. Amy Sprout and Daniel Parry. Don't tarry with Barry. There they go for the ramp, but they've only got a ground clearance of six centimetres. Will that be costly? They've only ever made a cassette rack before and a key fob, and they're going to be fobbed off here. I'll be operating the pneumatic blade that will go down like that, scoop along the floor, and hopefully not the other robots over. I decided to go for the big balloon tyres for extra traction. The whole robot works on 24 volts. And they need to get those wheelchair motors moving now because Matilda's in and she's hungry for rubber! And the pupils from Hagley High seem to me to be left hanging high and dry! Gone. No power. Stop and deactivate robots. Well, you were lucky there because you were about to be eaten. Yeah. Now, what possessed you to go that way? We decided to go that way because we thought we could get through, but what happened was when we actually went over, we got caught on the um, grills at the bottom, and so it just didn't move. Never mind. So it's back to embroidery now, is it? Well, I think so. Because that's a vicious thing. Uh, poor Amy and Barry, only 2.93 metres. That's vulnerable. So the Warriors from Nottingham with Shogun with very little to do. The worst runner in the gauntlet goes out of course. Wasn't that one in the middle in Star Wars? I'm sure I've seen him somewhere before. Shogun. Oh, off the ramp, officer. Breathalyze that driver. Matilda's there. Oh, well, you're right there. Yeah. Humiliation reigns supreme. <laughs> I think so. You're not going to get out of that one. Not with Matilda. Stop and deactivate robots. I did warn you that humiliation was an option, but I bet you couldn't have foreseen it would end like that. No. If you don't try, you don't win. So what happened? The response to the right turn wasn't fast enough and it slipped off the edge. And unfortunately, the house robot failed to write it for you. I don't think he was trying to write it. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was trying to damage it. I think you're probably right. You're Still, mean. all is not lost. That's not a bad distance. Thank you. 10.71 metres, enough to put them in second place. They're through. Metal's out of it. Look at that horrible grin. And Matilda waits, and that's a good dummy for Matilda. And that's a very good run, and they're through. Well, that was fantastic. But it is a good piece of fortune you never went near the flamethrower. Oh, thank God for that. I thought he was going to destroy us. <laughs> <laughs> Marvellous. Good. Nothing could destroy the grinning red armchair. Nemesis, the fastest so far. Three, two, one. Roadblock and Nemesis not only need to avoid each other, but our own house robots in their patrol areas go in there and you're in trouble. The boys from Dublin will use the spikes and the hydraulic prong. And Roadblock will use that saw. Activated by Hender Blewett. And Roblox could choke on a furball. Nemesis being ripped to shreds at this moment in time. 
They need to get away from that saw. Oh, that could be a mistake by Roblox. It's gone in with Matilda and the spikes, and it's impaled on the spikes. Matilda's saw and that vicious tail. This could be a tail of two saws. Roblox away. Now attacks Nemesis again. Gets underneath. The Nemesis boys all want to go into space, and they're in the air. They're in the air, and they're on fire. Get the fire again. Aye, aye, you're in trouble. Nemesis is on fire. It could all be over for Nemesis shortly now. Well, as you can see, the soft furnishings are on fire. Fire extinguishers have been brought out. So, pretty obviously, Roadblock is the winner. Yeah!